Has Scarlett O'Hara taken up residence in your marriage? Now, I don't mean that your wife suddenly is talking with a southern accent or running around saying fiddle dee dee, but I'm actually talking about the concept of I'll think about it tomorrow. I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And even though I was born and raised in California, I have spent more of my life in the South than out of it. And there's some things I like about the South, like y'all, great word. And there's some things I don't like about the South. But one of the things that I've adopted sometimes when I don't want to do something or I don't know how to do it or I'm frustrated is adopt Scarlett O'Hara's view of I'll think about it tomorrow. After all, tomorrow is another day. But the problem is, is if you know there are challenges in your marriage, and I'm going to tell you almost every marriage has challenges of some kind or another. And how you deal with those challenges is going to determine whether or not you'll be successful. And there's a lot of times when you don't fully know what to do. You don't understand where the problems are coming from or why they seem to be unresolvable. So it hurts, it's frustrating, it's confusing, and I don't want to think about it. Until the dreaded thing happens, your wife asks for a divorce. And like serial killers and um, uh, you know people you know, who, who, who shoot up post offices and, and shopping centers, you know, um, where they never saw it coming. The person was, was such a wonderful neighbor. It's like there's always indications that things aren't going right. And you may not understand because maybe you don't share the viewpoint of your partner. Maybe your partner is unhappy about things that you're not. Maybe you're unhappy about things that your partner isn't and you end up talking past each other instead of really get, sitting down, going deep, figuring out what you want to do. And a lot of reasons for this is because the two of you never set up a plan for your marriage in the first place. I remember having a conversation with my mother many years ago where I was telling her that I was surprised how many of my clients had never had the conversation about whether or not they wanted to have children. And she looked at me and she said, well, your dad and I never had that conversation. That's a pretty major conversation to be having before you get married. And there are lots of other conversations to have. How you want to spend your money, what kind of lifestyle you want to have, do you want to have children? <laughs> you know, um, how do you want to resolve differences? You know, what, what, are, what are your deal breakers? What are the things that you absolutely have to have and the ones that you can't live, um, that you can't live with? These are the kinds of questions that people want to have. And it goes back to many years ago when people would ask if I did premarital work. I said, with anybody willing to do it, but a lot of the times people would be afraid of, well, if I do that, then somebody's going to tell me we shouldn't get married. That right there is a big red flag. But, you know, Scarlett O'Hara got married three times, twice to people that she didn't really want to be married to. And they weren't successful marriages in, you know, and in writing, both of her husbands got killed, um, you know, so we could do anything we want in a, in a story. But how do you want your story to end? And if you aren't rating your marriage at least an eight and a half across the board, there's room for improvement. And there's information out there. And the one thing that I don't want, I so don't want you to be surprised when your partner asks for a divorce. And unfortunately, this happens a lot. Um, you think things are okay, and your partner is really unhappy. And one of the things that I tell my that I tell people is if your partner has been talking about things that they don't like in the relationship and you don't know for a fact 
that things have improved enough so that they are content with the relationship, but they stop talking about it, that's a danger sign. It's a sign that your partner has gone underground, given up, and is planning their escape. And then the next thing you know is when they come to you and say, I want a divorce. And it comes from left field, except it doesn't come from left field. It comes from the fact that you are adopting Scarlett O'Hara's I'll Think About It Tomorrow because you don't know what to do. And by the way, that's most people. I tell people that one of my, my favorite expressions right now is nobody has to take a one, relationship 101 class and everybody should because people think they're natural, they're easy, right? Or they buy into the marriage is hard myth and so when things are difficult they just think oh this is the way it's supposed to be without knowing that there are skills and techniques and tools that you can use and implement that will make things easier and that's what I do that's what I help my clients do I help them take the hard work out of marriage I teach them the things that will make them successful. So if you can't give your marriage an eight and a half at least across the board, then I invite you to get in touch. And you might be you you might be eight to ten on most of your relationship, but if there's an area of your relationship where it's a one or a two, that is going to eat away at the foundation. And so again, I invite you to call and get in touch and find out what the simple, not easy, but the simple changes that you can make that will bring your relationship to a place that you are no longer settling. So hopefully you found this helpful and I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I invite you to share this with people that you care about and I also invite you to get in touch with me. You can send me an instant message. You can put something in the comments down below. You can send me an email at Leslie at Foundations Coaching. But here's the deal. If you just keep putting things off, tomorrow after tomorrow after tomorrow, I can guarantee it isn't going to get any better. And more than likely, it's going to get a lot worse. So hopefully you found this helpful, and until next week, stay loving.